Hi all, introducing the unofficial Prezi player, an Android app based on a previous hack that enables one to play a Prezi offline on an individual, on an Android tablet or phone, provided it has Adobe Flash installed and a few other applications that are all available from the market, the Android market. In this short video I will demonstrate the alpha version of the app, it is without any guarantees, no warranties at all, and sorry, not available from the market, at least not for now. First. I'm going to install it through Dropbox. Uh, I'm assuming you will download this app from somewhere. Uh, I'll try to provide a download link somewhere. Uh, in this case I put it in a file. I can uh, access it from uh, uh, Dropbox and here I have it called Unofficial Pressy Player. It asks me to install, which I will. There are, uh, it asks permissions to, uh, uh, you have to accept the uh, uh, permissions and install it. And if you now open, you have the app. Before I do that, I'm going to go back one step. I could install it because I have settings. Uh, settings, installing it in Dutch uh, on applications. Here, uh, sorry, this is the D Dutch version. Um, you will have a warning. Yes, I know. You have to accept uh, installation from the non market, non trusted sources. This is because it's not installed, or well, not available from the market. Sorry about that. Um, now, I install this app. Here I see it has this uh, icon, I, uh, which is uh, available, and I use it. If I press on it, I will get this welcome screen. Welcome, it says it's an Elder version, there is no guarantee. And you can scroll through the items. Now the first thing you uh, you can read the about, which says again this is no warranty. It will also give you the opportunity to download a few things. Here is uh, a, a, a link to the Flash Player from ESUS. Again, I'm not associated with ESUS, but I like their Flash Player, and I need it for this app. If you click on it, you will be uh, uh, redirected to the Android market and you can install it. In my case it's already installed. I go back. There's so another thing I need for this app and that's uh, a file manager. I like uh, the Open Intense file manager. I'll show you here. I have it installed um, because it gives me extra uh, things that I use in this app. You can do use it if you have a different file manager it probably will work although uh, not completely it will, the files will be the, the, the demo will uh, uh, use um, uh, the ONE file manager. Now detailed instructions here they are. Read them low, slowly when you after you install it. Um, now the important thing, I'm assuming you downloaded the zip file from somewhere. Probably you opened your browser, went to Prezi.com. Uh, select, uh, uh, logged in, selected your um, your Prezi and said please download and you got a zip file. Now, if you know where the zip file is, remember that's very important. First thing you do is you click on this button which says find Prezi zip file. Okay, let's do that. And here you see the nice feature uh, of our ONE. I, I can give this bar which says please locate the zip file. In my case it's also on the Dropbox folder. Um, here, on the map called Prezi, Prezi downloaded. And here I have a file called, that's actually a, a, a hack, but it's called uh, uh, a Lean Sigma version 1 point zip. And here I say, okay, now when I press this button, it will take some time, it will do some things in the background, including unzipping the file and putting it somewhere else. Um, these buttons are because it's only uh, open intense file manager. In another file manager, it might be uh, uh, shown different, or you may have to push the back button after you selected this zip file. Okay, I'm going to press 
Okay, now it takes some time, it does something in the background. And here I am. Now I just found it, so I'm not gonna look for it again. This button, very important, empty the cache from the SWF player from ISS. Now if I press this button, which I will do now, uh, and redirect it to uh, a detail screen, this detail screen uh, gives me an opportunity to clear the buffer or cache, or I'm not sure what the uh, uh, non Dutch version is, but it's clear the cache. Do not uh, uh, do not wipe it, do not uh, uh, destroy it now, just clear the buffer. This is important because it will remember that the last one it um, uh, will always see the same Prezi over and over again. Now, I'm going to start the Prezi with this button. Well, not really started, but I redirect it to the SWF player from ISS. Now, if I click on downloads. Hey, I remember this file. This is a folder now. Click on it, and here you will see Start Pressy. Now, if you start Pressy, it will start. Again, use the HTTP uh, pro uh, protocol, very important. The other things are less important, I think. You can test them if you like. I press OK. This screen is because I have different flash players, but again, use the flash player from ISS itself, and it will start. Now. You can see it starting. This is a pressy. So, well, if you're not into Lean 16 Mark, this is very uh, uh, disappointing stuff. But again, let me just. It works. I'm gonna show you. If you never heard about Lean 16 Mark, well, it's a, it's a nice method. Um, this is a. Simple press you made some time ago. Uh, that's it actually. Just go back, and go back again, and you're back. Now, if you want, if you would like to, uh, you could find oops, you could find uh, another pressy file. Uh, oh, this is here. Find another Prezi file, look for it, go for it, etc. Um, but uh, under Start Prezi, in this folder, download, this is a subfolder of uh, SVF player, you will find all the Prezi's you, uh, you did. You downloaded and converted through this app. Well, I hope you like this, uh, this demo. Um, Please install it if you like it. Give me feedback. There's an email link in it uh, in the app in the about uh, section. Uh, uh, if you really like it, you can nominate it for a tablet app of the year 2012. Just uh, start it. And uh, happy zooming. Bye.